me, David Gale, your host of It's My Business, another episode bringing you the very best that the Uinta Basin has to offer in services and entertainment and dining. Guess where we are? Boom! It's my favorite place in all of Duchesne County. It's paradise. It's the Munson Family Farm, the maze. It's the end of summer. It's time to come out, run around in some corn and all kinds of other things. They've added so much this year. You got to see how much fun it is at the maze. So come with me. We got to go back that way. I don't know why I'm walking this way at all. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're here. Hey, there hey. he is, Mr. Munson. How you doing? Good to see you. The man Welcome. whose name is on everything. At the corn maze. At the corn maze, at least. We're inside. This is the corn maze. If you haven't been here before, this is Mark Munson. Uh, your title is uh, owner operator, you're the, the big cheese. Maintenance man. Maintenance man, yeah, yeah. He's always out here fixing stuff. And you know what? It's amazing. Uh, we've been here before, but if you haven't been here before, you can see behind me already that there's an awful lot to do. First of all, of course, is the maze itself, right? Yes. And and each year there's uh, a theme of some sort, at least because if you look at this from the sky, the maze looks like something, doesn't it? Exactly. So we, what is it this year? We carve a pattern and this year it's I Love Drilling. Whoa. We're supporting the oil field this year. Which is very convenient. Yes. We, all, we all are very Since grateful for, for the oil field. live in the oil field. <laughs> That's right. So um, if somebody comes and they want to go through the maze, um, some information for those people who maybe have never gone through a corn maze before. Well, uh, we're here in Bluebell. Uh, you have to drive a ways to get to us, but that's enjoyable too. Uh, come here, try to get lost and get yourself found in the corn. We have lots of stuff in the in the courtyard to play in. It's just a really good time. Yeah, um, so besides just the maze itself behind us, there's all kinds of stuff out here. Tell me about some of the things that, that keeps them occupied. Well, we have uh, three different kinds of slides and swings. We have fire pits at night. We have a corn bin to play in, like a sandbox. Wait, we wait. have a real sandbox. Um, and, and obviously, you're, you're open already. Yes. And, and you're open all the way through until when? Uh, our last day is that uh, first Saturday in November. We're having Pumpkin Destruction Day. Okay, well, we can't forget that. Well, we're going to get to that because we got to talk about the pumpkins before we talk about destroying those poor okay. pumpkins. <laughs> um, but uh, you've got the maze uh, all day long and you've got the stuff for the kids to do. Uh, my kids, they love that corn pit. That just It's just nothing but like a, a little shed full of corn, corn. right? You and it's amazing how much fun they can have just it throwing is. corn around. It is, throwing corn. You'll clean it out of their pants for weeks. <laughs> That's right, in their ears and their hair. <laughs> uh, and then there's also a miniature maze just for the kids. Yes, made out of large straw bales. And it's got a big slide that comes out when they find their way through. And if they can't, then as an adult, you can easily just walk up on top of the bales on the ground and go, See. there you are, right there. Get out of here. Last time I was here, I had to I searched around. My kids were hiding in a little crevice between a couple of bales, yes. and they didn't want to leave. Um, now, when it gets closer to, maybe not even when it gets closer, but you, you have a, a kind of a spooky time that happens in the maze as well, right? When does that exactly. start? Exactly. That starts on the 11th of October. Okay. Uh, we have three trails in the maze, and at that time we open the haunted trail. So they can do the, the other two trails that are not haunted any time, okay. but on the 11th of October we open the haunted trail called the Cre Creep Farm. Creep Farm. Yes. And is this for the, I mean, is this for the faint of heart? I mean, do you, do you restrict well, ages at we all? Don't, I mean, we don't restrict ages. Uh, we try to back off when the little kids come. We leave that up to the parents. You do have live people we in there. We have live people in there. Who are, who their sole job. Is to scare you. Is to scare you. So if you don't like getting scared, don't take the creep trail. But you know, if you're on a date or something, guys. Yeah, it's a great place. It's a great place. To take a date. To take a date. <laughs> you Guaranteed know, you'll get hugged. You, you, you guys keep adding new stuff every year. Every time I every come year. out, there's always something new and fun to do. Yes. Uh, well, what do you got this year for us? We got the Boo Barn. The Boo Barn. And it's friends. The Boo Barn and it's friends? And it's friends, yes. Oh, it's the a barn small, has friends. It's a small haunt oh, okay. that's open all the time the maze is open. Oh, so, so it's open right now? It's open right now okay. and you can go through it right now. Can we do that right now? We can do that right now. I don't know now. how well we can see inside of something called a Boo Barn. I imagine it's kind of dark. It's a dark. Well, let's go check it we'll out. We'll go check it out. All right, hey, let's go. Let's go see the Boo Barn. It it sounds friendly enough. Sure, I'll try to not be too scared. It's not the Creep Barn. It's, it's not the, not the Creep barn. Trail. It's just the Boo Barn. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go check out the Boo Barn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that okay. So hold on, I gotta put my glasses back on first. Okay, so we just came out of the Boo Barn. That's what's right here behind us. What a trip that is. It's such That's a wild. simple concept, but. Yeah. It's amazing. First of all, don't wear your glasses in there because it's almost completely pitch black. 
but you have a you have a complete change of perception. I don't know where your brain just goes click, and suddenly everything changes. It's it's so hard to explain. But whose idea was that? Well, that's an old idea. It's called a vortex spinning tunnel. Okay. Uh, you can see them on YouTube all all the time. Yeah. We saw them back east. We saw them on YouTube. We decided to build one. So you can walk through a vortex spinning tunnel at the corn maze. I've never seen one that's that effective at tricking your mind as to what's going it's crazy. on. It is a it is a trip. You got to try this out. And then on the other side of it, you continue on. There's more stuff to see. Yes, there's more things in the Booborn area than just that. So this is all. This isn't necessarily part of the um, the creep creepy trail. This is uh, uh, aside from that. This is aside from that. This is already going. You can come see this. This anytime. is already going. Every hour we're open, it will be open. And what, what, because we haven't reached this point yet, what are your typical hours during the day? During the day, we're Thursday and Friday. Okay. We're open from 5 until 9. We give the last ticket out at 9 o'clock. All right. And Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And this is going to go all the way through till the beginning of November? Yes. And uh, October 11th is when the... We start the Haunted the Trail. The Haunted Trail. The Creep Farm. Now, I know that uh, my kids, they... They love this. They actually came with me today because they've already been here once. Um, they came with their school. Yes. Um, you're doing some education as well. What's going on with that? You bet. Uh, all the kids in the basin can come to the corn maze with their school and have a field day. We call it the classroom in the corn. Oh, yeah? This year we're teaching them how corn is grown okay. and some of the things we use corn for. It's great. Yeah. And as, I'm sure that the kids probably get a kick out of all of the equipment and stuff you have You out bet. There. They get the lesson. They get the courtyard play area. They get the maze, and they also get a pumpkin. Oh, so they get to take yeah. a pumpkin home with them? You bet. That's awesome. Now, I, I'm I'm assuming that um, maybe if their parents were here to help them, that they might also get a chance to, to shoot a pumpkin or maybe some corn if they were really lucky. On the field trip day? <laughs> no. <laughs> now you got you to have your parent with you, you got <laughs> boys and girls. So so since I don't have my parent with me, what am I, do, I don't know, do I get a, do you feel comfortable with the idea of me using heavy pumpkin artillery? <laughs> when our regular business hours, you can use reg, but pumpkin artillery. Okay, in fact, they've got, they've got something that they had here last year, but I've never seen before. This is the biggest pumpkin shooting gun I've ever heard of. What's it called? Big Bertha. Big Bertha. We're going to go shoot Big Bertha, see if we can put a hole in something. Ready? Ready. Let's get this going. Okay, so I, last time I was here, the, the big gun was one that you kind of held with two hands, and I felt like you were on top of a howitzer or something. This, this thing is incredible. This is a, this is huge. This isn't just a gun. This is well, it's Big Bertha. It's right? a cannon. It's yes. a cannon. Yes. So, how did you how did you go from what I thought was the biggest gun you could have shooting a pumpkin to this thing? Where did the idea for this come from? Well, you've watched Pumpkin Chunkin on TV, haven't you? Pumpkin Chunkin? Yeah, Pumpkin Chunkin. I've, I've never heard of There's it. There's competitions back east. Okay. For distance and accuracy. All right. This is a baby from what they've got. Are you kidding? Yeah, there's some with 24 foot long barrels. What's this have? This has got a 16 foot long barrel. <laughs> Shoots an eight inch pumpkin. So, so do you have to find just the right size sure. pumpkin? Yeah, we have to find the right projectile to fit the barrel. And then I noticed earlier that you were shoving some straw in there yeah, as well. Yeah, we have What's to put for? wadding, just like the real cannon. Just like you a have real to, cannon. You have to put wadding in. And, and this tank, what, what's... How this much is a 500-gallon propane tank. We fill it full of compressed air. Okay. Then we release the compressed air with this butterfly valve. That's what this into this the barrel. Thing is yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. How much pressure do you, do you think? Thirty-five that, psi. 35. That's all it takes. Yeah. That's all. That is all it is. is it, does it release all of that all at of once? It. So all I know the other ones you, you have and you can pay to, to use it. Is this is this more of just a show piece? This is then? exhibition. Yeah. Okay. So on on the other end of this amazing barrel, we've got somebody's old house. We're <laughs> gonna try to shoot that camper. <laughs> We've How? only shot one shot this year, so we missed to the right. So we've adjusted for windage. This is only the second this shot. This is the second shot this year. And we've, we've got, we do have a little bit of wind. Looks yeah. like we come from the east here. Hopefully we've got it right and we'll hit the camper. How often are you shooting it off? We'll shoot it every hour while once, we're open once an in hour. the daylight. So if yeah. you're coming to see the maze, make sure that you get through it before the hour is up so that you can watch this shoot and off. Please request. If you haven't seen it shot, request and we'll... All right. We'll shoot it. And of course, you, you're, I'm not pulling this trigger because I don't, I don't, I don't want to see what happens if I do it wrong. Are you ready for this? We're ready for this. Uh, I am. I want to see it hit it and blow up. Okay, let's shoot. Are ready? Thing. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh! Did it go in the door? I think it did. 
Okay, I got, I got, that was pretty fun shooting that big old cannon. Yeah. I can't believe how much power is behind that thing. 35 PSI? Only 35 PSI, but it's the air inside the tank released all at once all that gives at it once. the energy. We just kept going. That's incredible. And of course, you got to get those pumpkins from somewhere. You have your own pumpkin patch. We have our own pumpkin patch. And two acres. And uh, that's like a, across the street a little way. So how do yeah. we get there? You get there on the pumpkin wagon. You get to take yourself a little pumpkin little wagon ride. Yeah, you get on the wagon, you go down and pick your pumpkin, and then bring it back. And you can you can get uh, your pumpkins for the season fresh. You just pick it right there, right? Pick it from the vine. And you've got you've got a ton of pumpkins. I mean, because you're you're using them as ammunition, you're selling them as as obviously the season pumpkin for your family. And then at the end of the season, you, you say that typically you have a lot left over. Still, we have a lot left over. So what do you usually do with them? Usually we feed them to cows. Okay. But this year we're going to do something else. What's that? Pumpkin destruction. Are you, do, you, do you have that trademarked? You should. Maybe we should. <laughs> TM, pumpkin destruction. That sounds like you're going to destroy some pumpkins. Uh, yes. Are you going to do it in any unique way? Yes, we are. We're going to have a big air compressor so we'll shoot Big Bertha like a lot. Just just pumpkin after pumpkin. Yes. And we got 15 to 20 airplanes coming. Wait, hold on. Airplanes? Airplanes. That's going to draw <laughs> pumpkins out of the sky trying to hit a target. No way! Yeah. It's like they're, they're going to come just swooping in like it's an invasion? No, just one at a time trying okay. to hit the target. It's a contest. All right, for the pilots? For the pilots. And we can come out here and watch, and watch. The pilots drop pumpkins? Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's just so much to do here. <laughs> so you can come right now and enjoy the maze, and enjoy the boo barn, go get your pumpkins, shoot some stuff up. When it gets to October 11th, come back, come to the haunt, bring yes. your date, get a little scared. Yeah. And then at the end of the season, first weekend in November? Yes, then Saturday. You, Saturday, you come back and watch planes drop pumpkins from the sky. Yes. And to top it all off, go get yourself some nice grub. Yeah, They've got, got good food. food here. Thank you so much, sir. This has been a hoot. You know what? If only we had some real horses so we could be like, we'll see you next time. So, we'll see you next time. <laughs> right here on VTV, it's my business. Take care. <laughs>